Well, goals were hard to come by to say the least with trips to state on the line today in three semifinal soccer games involving area teams. Just two goals were scored in regulation time. Division one semis first Appleton North taken on Kimberly. North had Kimberly on its heels most of the game. Katie Baker right here turns the corner but denied by Kelsey Connors. This is Kimberly's best shot to score. Watch this 70 minutes in Marley bus. But Alex Denny with the nice save. Game looking like it's heading to OT under three minutes to go. Watch Baker right here. The impossible angle shot. Look at her bend it like Becca. Appleton North. They are moving on, winning it one nothing. I didn't really even see the goal. I was just worried about the ball and I just kicked it in that direction and luckily it curved right in. It was kind of lucky. We've made it down here before but never made it past this round. So Hopefully we'll get past the next round and be state champions for the first time ever. But if not, it's been a great journey. Well, I, tell, I just told them I'm just so thankful to them because I've coached for a long, long time, longer than I can remember. And I've always dreamed about making it this far, and uh, now the dream's going to come true. All right, Division Two, Notre Dame looking for their first gold ball, taking on Xavier. No score in this one. Triton's on the attack. Emily Kaufman the shot. Taryn Thelig, the nice save. No score in this one through two overtimes going to penalty kicks. Tied at six apiece. Xavier's Megan Gressel the shot. Courtney Mullen the diving save. She had a couple of those. So this was for the win for Notre Dame. Jenna Hogan finds the back of the net. Notre Dame wins the shootout 7-6. It's the longest game decided by penalty kicks in WIA tourney history. I didn't honestly I didn't want to have a shootout because I knew how how nerve-wracking it can be um, but I just knew I had to do it for my team and I, I I just gave it everything I could oh my gosh we were so nervous and um, I got we didn't want to come out a shootout but we won so you ask a keeper to stop one and when we went out there I said Courtney all we need you to do is stop one well she stopped five so that's just amazing she just kept us in the game uh, hats off to her just a great job for Courtney you know we've been here several times we've never won it and to be have a chance to at least go home with a goal ball is just exciting we'll go back tonight we'll look we'll watch this game and figure out what we're gonna do to try to win that goal ball tomorrow all right well how about some defending champs new Holstein locked up in another low scoring game no surprise there Huskies looking to make it two straight division three titles late in the first half assumption with the corner kick Crystal Reese nice punch right there watch as Katie Sigler challenges but Reese a nice job getting to that one final 10 seconds of the game though assumption making good Mary Sigler finding her sister Katie who finds the back of the net that was with seven seconds on the clock heartbreak for new Holstein they lose one nothing tons of opportunities I mean the first half we were on our side the whole time and we just we couldn't put anything in it's hard but I guess last game at state can't do anything wrong there you kind of look at it as, as it's a good game I mean both teams played very well and just because it ended not the way you want it doesn't take away from how you played throughout the game and, and these girls played awesome they poured their hearts out on the field and like I said they should be very proud of how they played even if the end didn't come out like they wanted it to